Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and today we're going to be looking at the Fortnite update. So first we're going to go over to Save the World, and we won't spend a ton of time on it, but I thought I'd show some of the changes here, some of the things they've added in. Alright, so first off, we still got the Tales of Beyond uh, quest line that's available, but if you tab over, we now have Beyond the Stellar Horizon. So this is five pages of quests. Kind of a science fiction uh, theme from what I can tell. This includes a new mythical uh, outlander, so we'll see how that goes. Um, also on the uh, Tales of Beyond, I have not yet finished them. I'm on page three here. But at the end of page four, the name of the last mission is to be continued. So it makes me wonder if they're going to add another page of those in the future. We'll just have to see what they do with that. Um, also, the item shop. Instead of the military llamas, they are now sci-fi llamas and have some new weapons that have not been introduced before. I believe the weapons from the military llamas uh, have been in here before, so I'm kind of glad I waited on purchasing that. So I've got enough saved up for five of those. Might open that at some point. But let's switch back over to Battle Royale. Alright, so we have the Floor is Lava limited time mode in here currently, and the new Storm Flip. It's basically like a grenade that causes a dome to form, and if what's inside the dome is inside the circle, then it becomes Storm, and if it's in the Storm, it becomes like inside the circle. I don't know how long it lasts or any of that. It apparently does damage based on what the Storm is doing at that moment so it just becomes much more powerful the later in the game you use it uh, but the main thing we're going to be looking at here are the challenges now first off we can look at the uh, fort bites here and you can kind of see some of the stuff going on uh, if you haven't seen the eye down there uh, near polar peak you might want to check that out um, and we can tell this is bunker jonesy drawing we don't know what all this is going to be this looks almost like some kind of a bird or something I don't know some kind of a creature down here so we'll see what type of uh, special event this is indicating uh, will be coming there so anyways uh, let's go over to the weekly challenges we're on week five now <clears throat> So, deal damage to opponents with grenades, dynamite, or stink bombs. That'll be a little bit annoying. I don't use grenades that much, but might be able to get that in. Uh, search chests at Salty Springs or Frosty Flights. And pretty easy. If you get a good drop, uh, you should be able to get that in one go. Eliminate an opponent in different matches. So just uh, play five matches and get a kill in each. Complete a lap of the desert racetrack. That's, I'm assuming that is the the main racetrack out in the desert. Uh, I don't know if it'll be set up like the one near Happy Hamlet or not, where it actually counts down and you got a baller or a uh, hoverboard or something like that. That'd be kind of nice to have it set up like that to make sure you finish it. Um, place trap items in different matches. So this could be referring to a couple of different traps, I believe, but uh, the main one you're going to find is the spikes. Uh, visit w different wind turbines in a single match. So this is five different ones in a single match. They're kind of scattered all over the map. Uh, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get to five of them. I don't know how many there are total that could affect how easy or how difficult that is. And then eliminations at sky platforms. I'm assuming this is going to be on sky platforms. Maybe if you kill somebody under it, it would count. I don't know. We'll just kind of have to see, but three kills there. If you get a uh, Team Rumble match that ends with one of those in some of the last circles, that'll be really easy to do. Um, so anyways, let's jump into a match and see how many of these we can do. Right, here's one wind turbine. Hey, there are ballers here, that'd be nice. Let's see how close we have to get to the wind turbines to have visited one. Do you actually have to get to the top? 
Hello. There we go. All right. That's two. Let's see if we can get on top. This is one thing I have a little bit of trouble with. <laughs> Running the ballers, getting... Oh, come on. Oh, there's an enemy there. Let's just keep moving then. There's wind turbine number four. I believe I see number five right here. Not quite what I meant to do. There we go. That easy. Did not take too long to get that done. And we're right here at the edge of circle. Let's see if there are any sky platforms in the circle. Alright, there does not appear to be any sky platforms within the circle. There's this one right here on the edge. I might check and see. Yep, it's definitely been hit. Anything of interest? I've already got one of those. Hey, they missed the ammo. I'll take that. Hello, shotgun. Yep. I've won the game. <laughs> oh, somebody left this. Or just never came to check on it. We have... Oh, we got a chest here, too. Hmm, <laughs> rocket launcher would be really nice. Yeah. Is that? Oh, somebody used one of those uh, storm things. That's what that is. That's interesting. Yeah, that's a pretty big uh, circle there. Now, it did grow gradually, so I think you'd have a little bit of time uh, to play with there. But, yeah, that could be... That could be kind of nasty late game. Get a little bit of damage with those. Not much. Oh boy. That thing is really big. <laughs> and my baller's going down the hill. Alright. Let's see if there are any grenades in this. That might would be of use. There's another gold shotgun there. No, no grenades. I'll have to go find some more. Nice try. Good attempt. Get on target, dude. Oh, not again. Pulling down the hill. Of course, this thing's low on health anyways. I haven't been seeing many grenades. Wait, no. Uh, here. No. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> it's gonna roll out in the storm, isn't it? Hey, some dynamite. If you haven't figured it out from watching this, I really like running around in the baller. And I don't really like playing in Tilted that much. <laughs> okay. 
this person, are they playing on mobile? <laughs> I don't know what that deal was, but they broke my baller. Oh, lovely. Oh, I hit him twice. I think that was that. Yeah, that was my first death. <laughs> All right, where do we want to drop now? <laughs> wow, nice shooting. They didn't redeploy. That was... <laughs> hey, I found something. Oh, and did I mention that I don't really like playing in Tilted? Wow. Nice shot. This is a really tight match. 148 to 146. You just got it. God. <laughs> Barely. I think they hit me with a rocket launcher after. <laughs> right as I killed that one. Mm. Somehow we're up to 153 to 149. Anyways, uh, that's weird. It shows 11 kills here, but it shows 12 on this page. <laughs> Alright, tier 48, so a little bit more XP per match, which will make it easier to get some of the fort bites. Um, didn't do that great on the challenges here. I did get 85 damage because. I don't know if that guy was playing mobile or what, but he was really slow moving. I was able to get some dynamite on him. I think I got a little bit with the stink bombs uh, on that one guy, but not much. Did get a kill, <laughs> obviously. Visited five wind turbines in each match, or in a match, uh, which was pretty easy once you get a baller. That area around Pleasant is really easy to get it. Uh, that's probably the area I'd recommend for that. Um, I didn't find any traps. I didn't really loot a whole lot. I probably should have done more looting uh, before I really went for some of the challenges. That might would have made some things easier. Also, Salty Springs and Frosty Flights were both on enemy side, so I didn't push across and uh, get any chests there. So hopefully you get a little bit better run on your first go than what I did. Also, the racetrack was on the other side as well. So. Anyways, not the greatest placement uh, in terms of the flight path and all of that, but did get some of it done, and we'll be working on that this week. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If there's a particular challenge you want to see me work on or anything like that, or even a Fort Bike location, something like that, let me know. Uh, of course, there's already other YouTubers doing guides and stuff like that out there. So anyways, this is Stonewall signing off, and I'll see you in another video.